If you cannot do a vlog on your iPhone or some sort of video on your iPhone, it will be 100x more challenging when you do upgrade your gear to more complicated technical elements. I'm Amanda Horvath and I'm all about helping business owners and entrepreneurs leverage the power of video without breaking the bank or taking up tons of their time. So if you're looking to use video in your strategy this year, but you don't know where to start, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. So the challenge that I'm taking on today is that I am vlogging with no additional audio equipment, purely my iPhone. The only thing that I'll be using is a Gorillapod, which let me show you what that is. Voila, which just helps me put the camera in weird places. And so this is super helpful. So no audio equipment, no nothing. Let's get into it. So today is moving day and I'm actually going to be transforming the space that you are currently looking at my studio into the place that I sleep. And then I'm going to be taking the place that I sleep and making it into my workspace. So I currently live in a house with my two sisters. So I'm going to remove my bed from that place, put my desk in there, work from there and live here. And I'll probably end up filming at both locations. So I'll be taking you guys along with me. I'll probably be doing a lot of moving and a lot of more B-roll type shots to tell a story. So as I'm going through this, pay attention to the different shots that I'm using. And if you haven't already seen the video on how to shoot better B-roll on your iPhone, then definitely go check that out in the cards because I will be using all of those lovely tactics. So let's go. You're good. For those of you that don't live in Texas, you might not fully realize what it's like to move in July. It's like 96 degrees and I'm sweating like a pig. Oh, it feels so good. table <laughs> jammed in here something everywhere Here we are in the new home, and yes, I am wearing a robe, which brings me to this next point. In this video, my face was broken out AF. Recently, whatever's been happening, it's just been breaking out. But every single week, I gotta make a video. And the reason that I'm pointing this out to you guys 
is because we all hold ourselves back because we aren't perfect. And I want you to kind of think about maybe you recognize my face is broken out or you didn't. And maybe even some of you might relate with me more because I showed that side of myself. So we hold ourselves back from showing who we truly are for fear of looking amateur or coming across unprofessional. Yet really when you show who you are, more people will love you because of it. Now with this video as well, I had absolutely no plan. I just shot as much as I possibly could. And then in editing, I kind of cut down the parts that maybe weren't that interesting. And I was cutting a lot, so I wanted to keep the pace up of the video so that hopefully you guys are still here with me watching this. I will find that out whenever I post the video and can look at the analytics. And when I do that, each time that I create a video and each time you create a video, you just get better. So go out there, start producing your content and just mess up because that's how you're gonna learn. If you like this video, go ahead and click like, drop a comment below letting me know, and I'll see you in the next video.